autism and exclusion. He is Sam. He is unique and different from others. Sam has autism. Autism is a lifelong developmental condition that affects social imagination, social interaction and social communication. Actually, it's a spectrum of disorders. That means that its features vary in presentation, appearance and severity. Some autistics talk to you but don't look at you, and some don't speak at all. Some rock their heads or suddenly start to scream. This condition is characterized by the progressive loss of contact with external reality and the intensive concentration on the constructed internal reality by the person. Sam can talk with people, however he prefers not do it. He had created his own world, therefore he lives at the same time the real world the one that we all live in and his mental world, which is more real for him. Sometimes he seems to be anxious and afraid, and sometimes he starts to speak off topic and repetitively, so at the school it's difficult for him to be concentrated. Also he's very intelligent, he doesn't understand things as his classmates do, and as teachers want him to understand them. Sam is bullied by others others who don't know what's going on Sam's mind. Consequently, he doesn't have any friend because nobody wants to hear nonsense. Sam is considered weird and not normal. Sam has been excluded from school several times. Even he has been asked to stay at home and to miss some trips and activities of the school. His school hasn't made the suitable adjustments to remove the disadvantage that Sam has because of his disorder. Thence, the school is working without taking account Sam's way to learn, and it's discriminating him. So his cognitive and academic development is being interrupted. Thence, Sam's parents are really worried. They consider that Sam can't have a normal life as other children can. They say that he can't access to college, he must be treated especially. They don't know how to help him to get better. In this way, Sam is being excluded. Social and educational attention to autistic people is almost non-existent. Autistic children as Sam have many different problems in terms of participating actively in the society. If they want to get better, they must have enough money to pay the treatments and interventions needed. Also, it's very hard to find a school that provides quality in terms of education. Anna Kennedy, well known in the United Kingdom for setting up schools to provide adapted education and support for children that have autism, has two autistic sons. Her children, Patrick and Angelo, suffered exclusion and discrimination while they were studying. Anna was desperate. She started to look for a solution. First, she started to give class to her sons at home, and then she established a school especially for autistic children called the Hillingdon School. Anna didn't stop there. She continues doing projects and creating communities and campaigns to give a chance to autistic persons, to include them in society. She has struggled to change educational systems and to make people understand autism. Ambitious about autism, the United Kingdom Charity Organization provides specialist educational programs and services to people with autism, such as Three House School and Ambitious College. The organization made a research of 500 families in which they found that 30% of children with autism were illegally excluded from schools. This isn't a problem of autistic people. It is not just they who have to adapt to society through expensive treatments and specialized schools. Society must be adapted and adjusted to include different persons to face social reality. If we really want to create an impact and an actual change, we must start modifying the structures that reject people that is considered disabled. Also, we should understand that not everybody is equal, everybody has differences. The world is full of diversity, and we can learn from that diversity. Guess what? Being an autistic person is not bad at all. Even though it's difficult to believe, being autistic has advantages. 
According to Dr. Lauren Motron, professor of psychiatry at the University of Montreal, people with autism can make significant contributions to society. Dr. Motron says that people with autism can remember a lot of information. His research has shown that autistic people can do better nonverbal tests of intelligence than other people. They can focus carefully on topics they are interested in, and they have a very authentic imagination. So autism can be an ability rather than a disability. We can't force people to become normal and make them behave as normal people do supposedly. Society must accept diversity, not try to fix it. If the educational system of the schools is changed and to attend all the needs that the students have and if we celebrate uniqueness, autistic people won't be excluded anymore. We can include different thoughts and different ways to live the world we live in. Thus, we can cheer people's imagination and creativity. Some will feel better, less weird and accepted. Created using Powtoon.